Whoa. Just, um, just sitting here trying to go through the day a little bit and <clears throat> explain to you guys what happened. Um... Oh, a crash. Jorgensen is one of them. <laughs> we fought literally our whole team the entire the entire stage to get back. We were 10 seconds from the back and crashed right inside three, had to go. So, yeah, not good. I uh, stopped to take a pee along with a lot of others, but basically I went from being you know, front row. I stopped in the front row of the group and I went to stop and take a pee because I had to pee and don't think I would have made it to the end of the stage without a pee. And it seemed like everyone was. And yeah, so I stopped um, with a few of the guys from my team and uh, we started coming back to the Peloton. And when we came back, the I mean, the group was entire like from, from uh, each side of it, like covering the entire road. Every inch was covered and everyone was completely in, you know, locked down. Like nobody was moving. There was no room on either side of the road. There was no room in the middle. Everyone was in team team formation. And so at that point, me, I was with Iman Ol and, and uh, Gorka Ezegir. And I told them, let's choose the left side of the road, just because that's uh, what, thinking about what was coming up, that seemed like the best idea. And you just have to choose a side. And, because the sides are the, the sides you move up on. And yeah, we started to move up the left slowly, 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 but man, it was uh, it was hard. I mean, basically to move up one of the sides, you just have to like, I mean, flick guys. And to do that, you have to be <laughs> kind of, a, you know, an asshole about it. And yeah, Imanol was in front of me and he wasn't, we, we just weren't making up any ground and basically, we came to the point of the crosswinds without any movement. We were, I mean, it was super stressful and everything and we were going hard and fast, but we couldn't, there was just no, nowhere to go without riding literally in the grass. We just couldn't. Uh... And at about 5k to go, we were like, you know, maybe five, 10 seconds off the group. They pulled out all the cars and we were like right there. Um, and yeah, the guys started to come forward and it got really anxious and yeah, there was a huge swerve in the group. Uh, the guy in front of me basically just swerved probably like two meters to the left because I don't know, like in front of him, maybe there was something else that happened. And then Kreuzweg was coming up my left to try to like move to the front and I was com coming around behind him and he was on my left and the swerve basically went in front of my front wheel and I couldn't even, I couldn't react and swerve left because Kreuzweg was on my left. So I hit Kreuzweg and we both went down, uh, which was like so disappointing. Like we were at 5k to go. So it was like, you know, two more K and we would have been within the 3k rule and gone the same time. And um, yeah, after, after 90k of like having my whole team on the front riding and and uh, literally full gas, all of them suffered. The guys waited up for me and we still went as hard as we could to the finish, but I think we were two minutes down and the rest of the group I was in <laughs> made it back to the front and they were on the same done. So yeah, pretty disappointing. I'm not too banged up, uh, thankfully just have a road rash, but looks like GC's more or less out the window. Um, so yeah, coming for stages it looks like.